So coming from previous versions of Live, there are many new graphical user interface improvements in Live 12. And this course will not dive into all of them, but it's important that we get acquainted with how the MIDI clips currently appear. And so, of course, I can always view a MIDI clip by double clicking on it. I'll double click on this 808 core kit clip. And we have our familiar note ruler here, which is where we edit the MIDI notes with the notes on the vertical ruler along the left. And of course, time measured horizontally. And you'll notice that we can hide and show it with this toggle down below. And next to that, we can hide and show the device view for that same selected track simultaneously. So that's a huge new improvement. This means that I'll be able to edit the MIDI and the instrument settings at the same time, which is a massive help. At any point with the device detail view or the clip detail view visible, I can hide and show the info view here as you might be used to. The icon is slightly different. Now I'll just minimize the device view so we can focus on the MIDI clip for a moment and just go over some key changes. So first of all, you'll see that if I expand the detail section here, or rather uh, shrink it down in such a way, then these three tabs, which were formerly stacked vertically, now appear to the right of the basic clip loop settings and follow action settings. I don't think we'll be looking at follow actions in this course, but the basic clip loop settings are likely to come in handy at some point or other. Now, here we have the new pitch and time settings, which we'll explore shortly. And now where we might be accustomed to look for our modulation or automation envelopes, as well as our MPE, we have the two new very exciting MIDI transform and MIDI generate tabs, which we will be diving into quite extensively in this course, which I'm very excited for. But first, let's get a handle on the new basics of the MIDI clip editor. And that entails, first of all, noticing that those envelopes and MPE settings that were formerly located in this area can now be found by clicking these tabs above the MIDI clip. And then below the MIDI clip, you'll see, for example, the parameter selection, the linked or unlinked options for envelopes, and the different MPE selections here along the bottom. And in any of those views, we can also set the quantization grid for the time aspect of the note editor in this menu here. So in the MPE section, I'll set it to 16th notes, which is essentially the same as in my notes editor. And then in the notes editor, we've got a new section here, essentially where we can hide and show the velocity and chance lanes, whichever are selected. If we don't care about our chance or if we don't care about our velocity, we can deselect them there. Now, if I re-enable it and select chance, but uncheck velocity, then only the chance will appear. We will get into the chance features later, along with some exciting new probability features that are definitely worth exploring.